what's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have a box of Prism Fast Break. So originally this box was su supposed to be included in a group break, which I was planning on doing on Wednesday. So I am recording this video on Monday the 26th. I will be going live, or I'm still planning on going live on Wednesday the 28th. Uh, here on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will have some mystery packs as well as um, definitely one other break, potentially two. So originally I was planning on doing a Prism Fast Break box with Chronicles uh, Hobby and two Prism Blasters. However, that break was just not selling at all. Um, not really sure why. From what I've seen, this is a pretty hot product. This actually seems you know, to be pretty decent from what I've seen, uh, but it wasn't selling. So, uh, you know, I was kind of up in the air anyway on whether I wanted to rip it or do a break. So I went ahead and pulled that break and I decided to go ahead and rip this box. Uh, so we're going to see what would have been included in that break. And I think I'm going to replace it with just the Chronicles box and the two Prism uh, blasters. So if anyone's interested, it should be a very, very inexpensive break, uh, especially depending on how I do it. If I do 10 spots where everyone gets three teams, it'll be a little bit more. Uh, but if I do a full 30 spot break, it would be a very, very cheap break. So uh, I'll probably put that back up on 502frank.com very soon. So be on the lookout if you're interested. And again, I will also have some mystery packs as well as uh, a hanger box break of prism football hangers and optic hangers. And the mystery packs have only sold about five so far as well. So this is the first time I'm kind of trying it at a fixed price on my website. And there are 20 packs. Again, I've only sold about five. So uh, at the end of the mystery pack break, I am giving away a mystery box valued at over $200. And I'm gonna do that no matter what. So if we only sell five spots, I'm gonna randomize those five spots and someone's gonna get that mystery box. So no matter how many spots we sell, someone's still getting that mystery box. So again, as of right now, pretty good odds, you know, one in five shot at that mystery box. So just wanted to mention all that real quick. And now we will go ahead and get into our Prism Fast Break box. So again, I have seen a few people rip these on YouTube. And from what I've seen, these actually seem really solid. Now, with that being said, I, you know, I might get the worst box ever. Wouldn't surprise me, uh, but again, looking forward to this. Uh, you seem to get a lot of color out of here. Uh, you do get one auto as well, and then you are looking for that rookie variation, which I have seen this year's uh, variations are horizontal. So I think they look really, really nice. So excited to see, you know, hopefully we can get a top name on the variation. And then it says, look for exclusive fast break, fast break parallels. There is a look at the back and let's go ahead and get into it. So hopefully, you know, we can get some, some good low numbered stuff, maybe a good auto, good variation. We'll see, hopefully at least something. Uh, these boxes are coming in, you know, around like, I believe 550 to $600. So not definitely not quite as bad as the uh, Prism Hobby, but still pretty expensive. So uh, we'll see what we can get. looks like, how many packs are in here? Looks like 10 packs. So we'll move that box off to the side and let's go ahead and get into it here, guys. And also, if you guys are watching this video and you have not subscribed, I would definitely appreciate that. We are closing in on 25,000 subscribers. So again, would certainly appreciate that. Looks like we got a pink fast break right off the bat. I believe these might be number to 50. I know they, they've been number to 50 in the past. So we're gonna get a few uh, you know, standard Prism base cards, Paul George. Austin Reeves. Let's go from the back here. Robert Covington. Uh, ooh, nice rookie right off the bat. Jalen Green on the base. Then we're going to have Jer or Jermaine O'Neal. said Jeremiah. Our first fast break. Uh, that's, I don't believe. Okay, yeah, that's just going to be, uh, again, I almost thought it was variation. Not a variation. Again, the variations are going to be horizontal, uh, but a nice rookie fast break there on the AO. So I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick and sleeve that up. So we'll put that back there. And now let's go ahead and reveal our pink. Hopefully we got a rookie, hopefully a good name. Uh, Atlanta Hawks. Not really sure who we'd be looking for here. Maybe um, Sharif Cooper. Not, not a name that I would have guessed. Sharif Cooper on the pink. And yes, that is numbered at 250. So 25 out of 50. So uh, one pack in, we're, we're doing, doing pretty good. We got a rookie pink to 50. AO on the fast break and a Jalen Green base. So pretty solid first pack there. 
All right, next pack. Looks like we got a silver and a fast break. Cam Reddish, Brandon Clark, uh, Buddy Heald. We have uh, Bogdanovich and our silver. Not going to be a rookie. That is Montrez. Still in that Lakers uniform. Uh, let's see. He got traded to the Wizards, and now I think he's actually with maybe with another team. Uh, so he's kind of been all over the place. Thaddeus Young is our next fast break parallel. And then uh, David Johnson on the rookie, former Louisville Cardinal there. All right. Pack number three. Oh man, <laughs> I saw I saw the black. I think we just got an insert, but I saw the black and I was like, hold on. Uh, did, did we just hit a one of one? But I don't think so. I think it's just an insert. Uh, Saban Lee, we're gonna have, <coughs> excuse me, Isaiah Stewart. And our insert is going to be a um, Paul George. And what is that one called? Uh, the Prismatic. So yeah, definitely. Definitely not a one of one. I saw that black border, got real, real excited. Uh, and then our next fast break is Avery Bradley, another AO, uh, Jason Preston, and Amari Stoudemire. All right, next pack. I think something's like stuck together in here. There we go. And yes, we got a red. Okay, so the, the two fast break parallels were kind of stuck together there. Uh, Ty Jerome, Markel Fultz. Uh, we have Al Farouk Aminu. And I, be ooh, I believe this is actually our auto, maybe. And it looks horribly off center. And is that Suggs? Jalen Suggs. And let oh my gosh, yeah, that is horribly off center. The rookie card logo up here is almost off the card. Oh my gosh, of course. Uh, we pull a we pull a top rookie, and it, it's just uh, yeah, that's like a yeah I don't know PSA one based on centering, uh, and the red ooh it is a rookie. Let's see who we have for the Pelicans, Trey Murphy. Okay, um, also not perfect, but not not nearly as bad as the Suggs, uh, Sin Sinjun and Ben Wallace. All right, so let's go ahead and sleeve these up. Man, that is real unfortunate on that Suggs. Finally got a good auto. Uh, and just, man, the centering is brutal on that. And that is just going to be base auto, not numbered. And that was kind of weird, too. That wasn't flipped around. Normally, uh, you know, when you pull an auto, the, the card is flipped around. But that was kind of weird. Uh, all right, next pack. Looks like we got an insert. Kind of fly through the vet base. We got Lamelo. Uh, it's going to be, let's flip it over. Norman Powell, and we got a good insert. That is a Fireworks of Giannis. We'll definitely take that. And we are going to have another fast break rookie, Jason Preston, Jalen Johnson, and Fred Van Fleet. All right, so let me uh, just real quick sleeve up to Giannis. We'll sleeve up those two after the break. Nice Giannis there. And it looks like we still, we are just halfway through here. So... Hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. Looks like we got a blue coming up. So again, uh, halfway through the box and we're getting a lot of color here. So definitely a fun rip. Honestly, I think I would pick this over Hobby. I would probably rather rip two of these than Hobby, uh, just in my opinion. And we got a KD on the Fearless insert. And our blue, can we get another rookie that is gonna be for, ooh, for, the, for the Warriors? Take a Curry. Or we'll take a Jordan pool. Okay, not too bad. His stuff uh, definitely did well during the playoffs. Trey Murphy, another Jordan pool, and Stefan Marbury. All right, we'll sleeve those up a little bit later. Four more packs here. Another blue. Wow. So yeah, like I said, getting a lot of good color here. And I actually didn't even check what the blues were numbered to. That is numbered out of 150 on the Jordan pool. That was numbered 31, so not jersey number. Um, Miles Turner, we have Marvin Bagley. This might, nope, I was gonna say that might be our variation. Still searching for that rookie variation, uh, but that's gonna be a mindset insert of Lillard. And this one is gonna be for the Pistons. Come on, let me see that rookie logo. Let me see that rookie logo. Nope. Ah, 
Sadiq Bay on the second year blue. That would have been awesome if that was a Cade. Uh, Dirk and Luca. Dirk and Luca. All right, three packs left. This one feels kind of thick. Let's see if we get a variation. Uh, There's a couple inserts here. James Wiseman, McCollum, Montrez, uh, Sadiq Bay. Our insert is going to. There's uh, Steph. Uh, the fearless insert of Steph. And that one I think is a rookie. Nope, oh, not a rookie. That is Devontae Graham, uh, Nerlens Noel, Reggie Lewis, and Colin Sexton. So two more packs here. One of these should have our variation. Hopefully we can get some, maybe one more numbered card. Uh, not going to be here. PJ, Jaron Jackson, Kelly Olenek, uh, OG. That is Torian Prince. I believe this one is going to be our variation. We are seeing blue. Let's see if we can see the team here. Uh, for the Warriors, uh, Kaminga maybe? Jonathan Kaminga, okay, we'll take it. And uh, centering is a little bit off top to bottom. Left to right actually looks pretty good. A little bit off top to bottom, but we'll take it. And the next fast rate parallel is Rajon Rondo, Isaiah Livers. And on the back, we're gonna have uh, Delano Banton, all right. Final pack here. Let's see if we can get one more numbered card. There is a LeBron. And yes, we do have one more red. Okay, LeBron. Uh, Killian Hayes. Jokic. Desmond Bain. It's kind of annoying how all these are like flipped around upside down. We have an insert of fireworks insert of KD. And our final parallel is for the Trailblazer, who, not sure who we're looking for here. Maybe Lillard. Uh, we're gonna end with Yusuf Nurkic, and then the final two cards, Chris Weber and Jeremiah Robinson Earl. All right, let's do a real quick recap. I would say decent box, not, not spectacular. We did get a good auto, but the centering uh, was kind of a, a bummer on that one. Uh, Nurkic on the red, which the reds are numbered to 100. So it was out of 100 there. Uh, Fireworks, KD, LeBron, base. Kuminga was our variation. So uh, I like that picture, kind of a cool picture there. Steph Curry, fearless. Sadiq Bay, blue. Uh, Mindset, Lillard. Uh, Jordan Poole, blue. Another KD insert on the fearless. Nice fireworks, Giannis. Uh, Jalen Johnson, not actually sure why I put that there. Uh, Jason Preston on the fast break. Uh, Jalen Suggs on the fast break auto. Nice auto too. Stayed all on sticker. Uh, but again, centering is just atrocious on that one. Uh, Trey Murphy, red, AO. We got the Sharif Cooper pink, AO on the fast break, and Jalen Green base. So I would say decent box. Again, these are coming in around 550. I might have gotten, uh, if the if the Suggs was better centered, maybe around three to four hundred dollar value back. So uh, we'll we'll check out some of those for potentially uh, to potentially grade, maybe make a little bit more money back. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one, and I will see you soon.